Hey guys, it's Ryder here. So lately there's been a lot of big news dropping for the Luke Cage Marvel Netflix TV series, which is really surprising. Um, really because, you know, it we just don't know that much about it. We don't we don't have an official premiere date. Um, we're not sure if it's coming out before or after Daredevil season two, most likely after, because we're you know, you, you can assume Daredevil season two would come out around April, and that's only like you know, by the time Jessica Jones comes out, and that will settle for a month, it's only like five months away. So, I don't think they would do a Luke Cage series in between Jessica Jones and Daredevil. So, it is coming in 2016, but that's like, you know, it's kind of, we don't know that much about it. Except now that we're just getting a lot of casting announcements, and we're getting a lot of story plot details. And I felt like I needed to talk about this, especially just because the Jessica Jones teaser trailer just dropped a few days ago. And, you know, we know Luke Cage will be a major character. He's going to be, like, a main character in that show. So I thought, I got to do a video about Luke Cage. I got to talk about him. I got to talk about some of the supporting characters that are coming to the Luke Cage TV show. Because if you think about it, you know, there, there's you. if you think about Luke Cage supporting characters, aside from, like, Iron Fist... There's not too many you can think of off the top of your head. As of right now, uh, Iron Fist is not in the TV show. I wasn't. Ex I'm not expecting him to be. Maybe he gets like a little Easter egg thing that sets up his own, uh, you know, Iron Fist TV show. I'm not really sure. Um, but you know, I think we'll have to see how that all goes. But uh, you know, I don't. I don't even know when Iron Fist will be premiering. Iron Fist might be premiering. Um, November 2016, if, you know, I, or December, I'm not sure. So uh, let's sort of talk about this. So, of course, we all know that Mike Coulter will be playing uh, Luke Cage. Um, and that was announced months ago. He's a main character. He's in all 13 episodes as of right now in the Jessica Jones TV show. And he's going to have a lot of connections with her. But he will be getting his own TV show on Netflix, like Daredevil and, of course, Jessica Jones. And then if you all know that that's going to all lead up to a Defenders TV show. Well, it seems like we can tack on another superhero to that list of Defenders. They have just cast Misty Knight for the Luke Cage TV show as a main character. So... If you're a Marvel fan, if you're a Luke Cage fan, and if you're reading the current Defenders comics, or at least you were, the Marvel Now Defenders comics, then you know, at least, you've at least heard the name Misty Knight. If not, well, she's basically one of the main, you know, Luke Cage supporting characters alongside Iron Fist and others who were part of the Heroes for Hire. Now, the Heroes for Hire is basically Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and they enlisted a bunch of other, you know, these, like, uh, darker, you know, edged characters, uh, similar to Misty Knight, and they basically, it was somewhat of a team, not a big team, it was really, it was really either Luke Cage and Iron Fist, or Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Misty Knight, and basically, if a civilian needed help, like, or, a, you know, um, a, a firm needed protection, or a doctor or a hospital needed protection, or, uh, you know, someone needed them to take care of uh, somebody else. Like, let's say Captain America wanted to kill, I don't know, uh, Baron Zemo. Uh, this, is just, this is a bad example, but it's an example. Captain America wanted to kill Baron Zemo, but he didn't want that, you know, bad blood on his hands of killing somebody. Especially, you know, somebody, because he's all known patriotic, he'd be like, Hey guys, I'll pay you this amount of money to go kill Baron Zemo. Which is not very Captain America-like, but whatever, they would go and they would do it. So that's, that's how they wor it worked. They would perform services to get money. Misty Knight was a big part of that. Um, in the Marvel Now comics, uh, which kind of just ended and they're still going on, but like, it's all new, all different, so it's hard to explain. But like, when it was um, the Marvel Now... Uh, we were we we saw a new team of defenders, which is pretty much all all female team, which was very different from the comics. When it, the first Marvel Now comic started off, you know we had Doctor Strange, you had uh, Red She Hulk, but towards the end of that, we got down to more of just like Misty Knight was one of the main characters. Valkyrie was one of the main characters, and there were some other ones too. But really, what stood out was Misty Knight. Now. Misty Knight dives way back deep into Luke Cage's backstory. So, you know, it makes sense that they would bring on a character like that. 
I wasn't expecting it. So when I first got, when I first found out about this, I was like, whoa, whoa, this is awesome. Also, I wanted to clarify something just so I don't get any comments on this video with people being like, hey man, it wasn't confirmed about Misty Knight. Well, they cast a character known as Missy, but multiple sources have confirmed that it's actually just an uh, alias title so nobody would find out that it's actually Misty Knight. So, they will do a big press release announcement, whatever, most likely around, uh, when, you know, New York Comic Con in October, uh, it's October, like, 10th, I think, Marvel TV there is going there, and they're, gonna, they're doing a bunch of presentations, very similar how a Marvel Studios usually goes to San Diego Comic Con, so we'll be getting a bunch of news from there, but I think that's really exciting. Now, the fact is, if they're doing a Defenders TV show, I, you can assume that Misty Knight will, event, you know, of course, become like that superhero and, you know, of, of Misty Knight, and she will be part of the Defenders. Um, you can also, it's safe to assume that we would see uh, Trish Walker, who is a.k.a. Hellcat, who is a main character in the Jessica Jones TV show. We, we can, it's safe to assume that she, we will see her become Hellcat, and she will also be part of the Defenders. Um, and then, you know, maybe even the Punisher for, from Daredevil, uh, or uh, the Elektra, or something like that. And you'll, you'll see, you know, of course, you'll have your main heroes. Daredevil, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, but standing behind them might be Misty Knight, Hellcat, Elektra, The Punisher, um, I don't know, uh, who else from Iron Fist? You, you guys know what I mean. So all these other, all these other things, all these other, you know, more sm smaller heroes, they will make up the Defenders. So I think that's really what I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, I think that that's really exciting. Um, moving on to the villains for Luke Cage. So the confirmation that we've got is we we they cast an actor to play Cornell Cottonmouth. Now, Cornell Cottonmouth might not sound familiar to you, but maybe the name Cottonmouth does. Now, let's say you don't know anything about this Cottonmouth character from Marvel. What 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 does Cottonmouth really mean? Well, it's a snake. So snakes plus Marvel Universe equals hmm what? I'll answer that question in a minute. Cornell Cottonmouth is a snake-related hero, uh, or not hero, snake-related villain, um, and he's actually pretty dark, uh, and you're not going to see too many modern comics about him, mainly because, you know, well, this team of supervillains isn't used as much nowadays. They were uh, a lot more back in the past, big Captain America villains. Uh, Cornell Cottonmouth was a big surprise to me, really because I wasn't expecting them to bring on a character with the snake-related power, with, you know, the snake-related, like, origin. Now, let me just cut to the chase. Cornell Cottonmouth is a key member of the Serpent Society. This is confirmed. Uh, Cornell Cottonmouth will be a villain on, on the Luke Cage TV show. He might not be the main villain, uh, because right now, I'll talk about the, who we, who is supposed to be the main villain right now. Uh, I'll talk about that in just a minute. But let's just take a minute, let's take another minute to just sort of talk about Cornell Cottonmouth and the Serpent Society. So, let's, let's switch gears and talk about the Defenders for a minute. Defenders. Well, we know that, you know, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, possibly now Misty Knight and Hellcat and Elektra, Punisher, whatever. We know that the, the heroes will all be joining up to create the Defenders. And, you know, we, we get it. It's cool. Where do they go from there? Who are they fighting? Why are they coming together? Well, we might have, they, Luke Cage may have just answered our question. This, they might be fighting the Serpent Society. Which is fucking crazy. Whoa. Um, if you ever think about if you've if you've thought about it, you know, the Serpent Society, if you know who they are, uh, then cool. If not, they're basically led by Viper, aka Madame Hydra. Uh, they're well, Viper was a leader for a time, King Cobra was a leader for a time, but the main let's just go with Viper being the leader for right now. It, they're basically a bunch of snake, like they're, they're super villains with all these uh, snake related powers. Like there's Anaconda, there is, like I said, King Cobra, there's Cottonmouth, uh, there's Viper. They're, those are all different snakes. They're all different kinds of snakes. So these are all super villains with snake related powers, so they can do whatever these snakes can do. 
Uh, Constrictor. Constrictor's a classic one. Classic, classic one. And he's a really interesting one that we could see. Maybe we could even see some ties to uh, Anton Vanko's work or uh, Ivan Vanko, whatever, from Iron Man 2 with the Whiplash technology. Love to see. But uh, they're a lot of fun. They are awesome. And uh, if you want to see them in action on screen, you can check out some of the Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes episodes. Those are pretty fun. You get to see how they actually really work. Um, and I've already talked about how they can do the Viper workaround. Because if you guys remember from the Wolverine movie in 2013, Viper was the main villain. Um, and Viper and Silver Samurai. Uh, the thing is, Viper has ties to both Wolverine and like Captain America and Hydra. So what they could do is they could just call her, instead of Viper in the Defenders TV show, they could call her Madam Hydra, and I think that would work fine. I mean, they, that Fox can't sue Marvel for that, so, they're, yeah. Um, but if we see Cottonmouth being introduced in Luke Cage, maybe he gets beat by him, he's found by the Society of Serpents, or maybe he's found by, you know, Madam Hydra, or Viper, or whatever, and then they form the, the Serpent Society. Then, Agent Coulson was supposedly going to put the Defenders together, so maybe Coulson could be like, yeah, there's these team of snakes going around, led by a leader of Hydra, Madam Hydra, we need you to take them down, they could, they could do that. There could be some other big plot going on as well, I'm not sure, but I think that, that says a lot that they cast a key Serpent Society member. So I'm really excited about that. And then let's talk about the, what we supposedly could be the main villain, Diamondback. So that name might ring a bell and might not. Uh, not a very well-known Marvel character, uh, female, uh, but she definitely has been a foe to Luke Cage. So it makes sense. Uh, she's a flat-on foe to Luke Cage. Uh, I was expecting them to go with a main villain, or a, ma a male villain. Now, I'm not, I'm not being sexist, not, not nothing like that. It was more of just because Luke Cage is such the, he has all this rage in him and all this, this power and, you know, uh, he's so angry and he's got, you know, he has to deal with everything else and he was, you know, Jessica Jones and, you know, maybe, you know, Misty Knight, whatever. He is everything here. He's this big dude and, you know, uh, we don't know, I mean, w what's going to intimidate this guy? Probably somebody bigger than him. So that's why I was, I was kind of expecting them to do go with like a, a massive, like, twisted, like, brother of Luke Cage or something like that. Or, you know, I don't know. I just th I thought that they might have gone with something a little bit darker. Uh, you know, uh, but, you know, if you like I said, if you think about it, Luke Cage doesn't have too many memorable villains. So, in, I mean, it's fine. But it, it is interesting. It's an interesting dynamic where you're going to have Luke Cage versus this Diamondback. Now, Diamondback, don't get me wrong, she's powerful. But it, it's just a bit of an interesting dynamic. Um, I think I'm okay with her being the main villain as long as they execute her costume and her character right. Uh, and they show some ties to maybe the Kingpin. I think that would really work out well. Or maybe the Purple Man. Um, so, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that. But really, I think the big things to pull out of this right now is the Serpent Society and then Misty Knight. And, you know, how the Defenders will be built up. So, let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about this. Are you excited? Are you not? Are you, do, are you really happy that Misty Knight might be coming? She's a great character. Um, and how excited would you be if the Serpent Society was the main, were the main villains for the Defenders TV show? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click, share, like, subscribe, and go check out some of our other great videos. I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.